double. Me? Double. Me? What do you think? I think this one needs to eat some it. You think it's just another apple? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, you ready? So. All right, everybody say cheese. Cheese! You know, Lee. You know, Lee. Girlfriend. I dropped it. Take a say cheese. So hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead, Pater with you. Thought I would do some preliminary filming and show a few things real quick before our very special guests arrive this morning at Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome to the farm tour with the Cherokee Youth Program in Robbinsville. It is the language camp that is going on right now. And guess what? They're coming to the farm. So if you have been with me on different presentations with different things, whether it's the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference or whether with it's the Tennessee Trail of Tears Association, I always like to set up the three sisters to give a little background history on what this is. Everybody is always fascinated with what it is and how does it work. And, and also, it also gives a chance to introduce, in this case, we do Cherokee language. We don't do other, but we do like to introduce Shalu. Tuya, Waigigi, Iya. Shelu is corn. Tuya is bean. Waigigi is your squash. And if you like pumpkins, that is known as your Iya. So here we have just a simple presentation. I always like to give out uh, different flyers and drawings and different things that for the children to do that they can draw and fill out information and show you that they can learn from so they can fill out information and color and all of that. They always think that that's a lot of fun. We talk about the different types of planting that are in the Three Sisters. And then I like to show them different types of seeds. So you have your squash. Uh, this is your um, Cherokee White Eagle corn. Then you have your Trail of Tears beans. I also like to add in just for fun, your corn beads. Uh, that's always a big discussion, especially when it comes to the Trail of Tears. So it's a good opportunity to introduce seed, seed saving, companion planting, native history, language, and my favorite is my little homemade <laughs> three sister that I love to take with me all the time. So we have somewhere, we have somewhere between 30 and 40 folks about to arrive on the farm and I'm going to be talking about the different plants. I'll be talking about different mulching, uh, different situations. We'll be talking about volunteer plants. We're gonna be talking about my onions that we just pulled. So they're kind of seeing a beginning stage and an in-between stage of the garden. But a lot of these children may not have a garden. So it's giving them an opportunity to have hands-on experience with seeing tomato plants and actually seeing grass clippings and the ripening of the tomato and how pole beans grow on the trellis, how sweet potatoes grow in the mound you know, weeds and how to handle that and all of these situations. Of course, we have the cucumber. So we'll be talking about all of these different things. I'm gonna let them pick a few things. Then we're gonna show them the large garden. And what's most important is that while they're seeing the gardens and the animals and whatnot, they're also going to be speaking in the language. So a lot of these children that entered the camp this week 
Some of them have been going for several years. Some of them are brand new. So they're always being refreshed and renewed or it's a whole new experience to learn Cherokee language, but particularly words when it comes to farming, homesteading, gardening, and animals. So we'll be talking about Uweji, Chitaga. So what I'm doing is I'm putting out little stations around the farm because they can't necessarily go into the barn because of Cochise. We don't want that to be a situation. So I've put out some eggs. Hey, what do you think the chances are that's a double yoker? I sure do hope so. I'm gonna have us crack it and find out. But I'm gonna let them see baby chicks and mama hens, eggs, and let's walk you up to the big barn real quick so you can see what I've got going on up there. So we've been working really, really hard the past couple of days, mowing, trimming, cleaning, tilling, moving animals, and all of these things. And I'm also constantly trying to think of ways to allow them to see certain things. So let me show you what I've planted over here. This is gonna be a lot of fun to see. And then we'll see the barn. So I've decided to set this area as four different stations of planting. These will be my iris. This is my Cleome, which is what I wanna show you. This is known as the fourth sister. Sunflower is also, but this is very popular here and grows very, very well. And a lot of times it comes back. This is Cleome or your fourth sister. So not only are they gonna learn about the three sisters, but I'm gonna show them exactly how this grows and pictures of exactly how it's gonna bloom. And it is striking y'all, it is striking. So what we had to do in order to kind of do a farm tour here on the farm, We've had to put Cochise up in a stall. I've said this many, many times. He's not exactly keen on the idea of having new people on the farm. So I've put Cochise up in a stall, but they will see Enoli. So there's another Cherokee word for them, badger. And then what I did is I've left the goats out, the cows are out, the baby goat, the brand new baby, bottle fed baby, they'll be able to bottle feed her down at the house. But I've put out a few animals in, a, in some cages and stations right in front of the barn. So therefore, they can see exactly what's going on there in terms of quail, rabbit, turkey. And what else did I put out there? Oh, Danny DeVito. So as I'm filming, I just got a message from Miss Lou who is bringing all the kids over and the staff and whatnot. And they just now got off the chair of Hala. Hey guys, they just now got off the chair of Hala folks and they're passing through Teleco. They'll be here soon. They'll be here soon. So what I also plan to do is show them the big garden. And of course we have the potatoes all coming into harvest. Maybe we'll pull some. If we do, it will definitely be the red Pontiac because I think they're the furthest along. We also have okra, we have our corn, all of these things. So again, we have words in Cherokee. We have Nuna, Shalu, all kinds of goodies. And you can see the sunflowers are gonna be a showstopper. Okay, they're gonna be here in just a few minutes. I have 70 hot dogs in the oven, ready to go. We're gonna be providing lunch and dessert and lots of yummy drinks and different things. We're gonna to tour first, so we're gonna show them the chicken coop and the ducks and the barn and the, all of the goodies around the farm. So we're gonna to try to film as much as we can. Again, this is done by pretty much me and then I had help from James and the kids. So we're gonna be running around. So I do promise to film as much as possible. I'm sending them pictures and they're getting excited. So this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a real treat. So they're on the way. Let's see how much fun we're gonna to have today. I'm excited. That's a chicken wow. egg. Yeah. Chicken we some of our eggs. Oh, 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 the chicken egg. we get. Yeah, Wait, is that, is that how we the chicken egg is? Well, there's no, yeah. we'll find out. Now, if I took this and if I let a broody mama sit on it and she did her job, or if I put this in an incubator, Thank yet you. most likely on my farm, yes, there's gonna be babies. I've got mama, a mama on hatching babies right now in the garage. So, oh, um, but these are, the, we hatch these here 
And these are, there were just two, and one of them is missing feathers on its neck. It's actually a breed, it's a turkin. Did you make, did, oh. you, did you name them? I have not named them yet, so we have to come up with a name today. But they both have, um, they're both, the, the gray one is a turkin, so you don't see the uh, feathering on the neck. That is actually what they look like. They're really good mamas, they're actually really good chickens. But they look a little funny. These in here. And they are guards for the chickens. So when you come up here, see how they're telling all the chickens to come up? They're, they're protecting them. Okay. All the chickens are going up into, they're, they're pushing them up into the actual poop side. So what's the, what is Goose and Cherokee? Shasha. Uh, Shasha. It's like that on purpose. That's her breed. Oh, can we touch it? They're very good mommies. Can we? Can we? That's. <laughs> she almost looks like Tassie got hold of her, doesn't she? Hey, touch it. Oh my God. Me either. She's very sweet. Mm -hmm. They're not high production of eggs, but they will sit on any egg. If they go broody and they're devoted to it, they'll hatch anything. They'll hatch a goose, they'll hatch a duck, they'll hatch anything. Can you tell them what broody means? Broody means she's not just walking around laying an egg every day. It means she decides she wants to be a mother hen. So once she has her clutch of eggs, it could be five eggs or 10 eggs established, she sits on them for about 21 days. That's how long it takes for a chicken egg to hatch. It's 21 days, roughly. And then she has babies. So she goes from being a broody mama, and they're a little bit mean when they're broody. Don't let it on my face. Oh my gosh. Was she giving you sugar? Oh, I think she was. Anybody else want to see? Touch it, feel it. It doesn't feel, it feels like a pillow. And I take him to all of my events, but you can see he doesn't have an extra toe, but they have the feathering down the, the flank and the shank. It's like you pick him. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. They're very good birds. Does he have a snub can on his wing? He might. Might have a rough one. Might have a rough one or that one. We just don't know. <laughs> Alright. Who wants to feed one? Get down. 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 Get Yo, he's like the rhinoceros. The brontosaurus. Yo. Yo, man. Come here. Oh, my God. This is Emo. This is Emo. I So she doesn't chase the goats. That's the only reason why. They go and lay with her. Look at that. So this will be a full size. Dude, make it so soft. It's a baby one. Wait, what's he doing? Turkey. Oh, okay. Gunny. They're they're stretched out, man. But that's good. You know why? That means potatoes are developing, and that means potatoes are getting ready for harvest. Come here. So we have. So what's what is potato and cherry? She said, stay right here. Nuna. Nuna. So we have four Nuna. different varieties of potatoes in these lines, and they grow at different rates. The one that harvests first is the red Pontiac. So come on. See this right here? See this right here? Help me pull Okay, now you pull the plant. Now, Journey, you're going to be my digger next. Look, look. Oh, look. Go show me. Go show. Let show There's a tiny, tiny, tiny one. I want the tiny one. Go show Miss Lou. Now take it to Miss Lou. Take the plant to Miss Lou. You, Emily, you get my next one. You and Journey, come here. I just got the tiny Okay, you ready? 
Oh. Look at this. Tiny. Picture. 